you tell the American people that you guys are not going to have enough funds to fund this hurricane season only for a whistleblower to come forth and show that y'all had an extra $7 billion that y'all didn't know was somehow hidden. Yeah, okay. Welcome to the channel, everybody. I'm Ty Smith. You're watching my channel, Modern Renaissance Man. I appreciate you guys taking time out of your day to view my content. Make sure you hit this like button so my content can consistently be circulated to YouTube algorithm and it will consistently be recommended to you, all right? All right, do that. Follow me on the platform you see above and below, ladies and gentlemen. Please, please, please make sure you do that. Last but not least, double check and make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. If you're trying to figure out why I flew through that so fast, it's for a reason. It's because I'm trying to get to this story, ladies and gentlemen. This is just ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. Kamala Harris sends over, a, pretty much, she sends $157 million to Lebanon while our Americans are here suffering, scraping for food, scraping for medication, don't trust the government at all. FEMA comes out trying to play victim like Americans and these, these content creators they're saying these things about us and we and they're saying bad things about us and what we and they're saying bad they're trying to make themselves to be the goddamn gone victims when none of them were involved in this at all when it comes to losing their house losing their lives losing their family but they come in with their clipboards and everything and dun, 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 dun. okay so we see what disaster area here there okay so we're going to go back to our hotels and reconvene in the morning and we're going to see what we're going to do though we know that people are out there and ran around the woods and everything but we have to go back to our hotels where we got food shelter and clothing and water and cold water and hot water and we're going to be eating breakfast in the morning and we're going to reconvene and trying to keep americans from going up there and saving people lives while they do all that they're going to act like they are the victims in my opinion, I said it before and I'll say it again. If I work for FEMA, I plan on going there being nasty, stanky, sweaty, staying in the tent just to make sure that those people are going to be more comfortable than I am. That's what service is all about. Servitude is about pretty much. OK, point in saying all this, ladies and gentlemen, if the things that you guys have been sending me in and I've been posting on here about what FEMA is not doing. Shout out to my twin, my short twin, Terrence Williams out there killing it, pancakes and everything like that, serving brought supplies. He's out here saying this stuff. He's reporting that FEMA them are not doing nothing. I've seen videos of helicopters coming in and dropping low and what they call like propeller washing or whatever like that, blowing supplies and stuff out of the way. I don't know who they are or why they're doing it, but I'm seeing this stuff. So I have a bunch of questions about that, but that's for another video. Here's the thing. The point in me saying all that is this. With FEMA getting upset because content creators like myself and other folks out there rocking it right now, exposing them because they don't like the fact that I'm doing and I'm saying exactly what Ronald Reagan said. He said, the government says something like this. We are the government and we are here to help. Know that there's going to be trouble. I hope that what a lot of you guys are telling me is true. And you guys are saying that the local law enforcement them are saying FEMA try to show up and do anything. They're going to arrest them. This is no, they're not letting them. They're not letting it happen. To drive this all home, what I'm telling you guys is that people have not trust in the government. They have no trust in the government at all. And for this story that I'm about to show you guys to come forth solidifies that mistrust even more. So FEMA and the government, thank you guys for this. So another controversy to unfold yesterday during the press briefing, the White House is having a very difficult time answering why they can pledge millions of dollars to aid in Lebanon while Americans are still struggling to recover from Hurricane Helene. It's an important question. Brooke Singman here with more. Brooke. Yeah, guys, it is. So the White House is facing serious questions about their priorities after Vice President Kamala Harris pledged to send $157 million of additional assistance to Lebanon an hour before she pledged $100 million to aid in North Carolina. Watch this. President Biden is fond of saying, show me your budget and I will tell you what you value. If he's got money for people in Lebanon right now without Congress having to come back, what does it say about his values? There's not enough money right now for his people values, in North Carolina who his, need it. 
That's not misinformation. No, the way you're asking me the question is misinformation. What you're asking me is why Congress needs to come back and do their job. That's what you're asking me. Congress needs to come back and do their job and provide extra assistance, extra funding to disaster relief fund. That's what Congress needs to do, and we're going to continue to urge that. You may not want that, but that's okay. That's what this president wants, and that's what the vice president wants. Thanks, everybody. North Carolina residents are pleading for more assistance from the government to help them recover from Hurricane Helene. A daughter whose house got completely wiped out, she has no flood insurance, meets with a FEMA person, applies for everything she get, doesn't get the 750 that Kamala says that she's supposed to get, gets approved for $300 for personal items. What is that going to do? Where are you? These people have lost their homes, they've lost their, they've lost their businesses, they've lost everything, and they need some support. They need help. And $750 is not much help. It's just horrible. So the FEMA administrator confirming to Fox News that the agency does not have enough funds to last beyond immediate needs. We don't have enough money to continue throughout the rest of the year. And we went into immediate needs funding earlier in the year to make sure we could do just what we've been doing through Helene, as well as now the preparations for Milton. While FEMA says they are running out of funds, a DHS Inspector General report finds that FEMA had $8.3 billion in unliquidated funds meant to relieve declared disasters from 2012 or earlier. More than $7 billion of that could potentially be returned to the Disaster Relief Fund. But analysts say FEMA cannot tap into unspent funds from long-ago crises, so the money stays frozen. Guys? Bureaucracy at its worst. Oh, Brooke, sure. thank you. Surprise, surprise. Surprise, surprise! We didn't know we had $7 billion that we didn't know. We running out of money for this hurricane season. We not going to have enough money to fund this season. We And even though we sat there and called out y'all bullcrap because y'all gave it all to these illegals coming here under Kamala Harris's plan, who, by the way, just announced earlier that she wouldn't run her administration any different than how Joe Biden ran it. Yet at the same time, she act like she's going to fix inflation. Make that make sense. Her and Joe Biden, you know what, that's for another video, but I'll get to it. Her and Joe Biden are the reason why we're in a predicament that we're in when it comes to high gas prices, high food prices, the inflation, the food shortages, the border crisis. And she turned around and said out of her mouth herself, she is not going to govern no different than how Biden is. And yet, that's what y'all want. You think she's going to make a better future. Yeah, okay, she just gave herself away. I think that was an oops moment. Anyway, my point in saying all this is this. They lie. They lied that they did not allocate those funds to the illegal immigrants, and we have proof that they did. Then lied and made it like, well, we're not going to have enough money to fund X, Y, and Z, only to turn around all of a sudden that we didn't know we had $7 billion, $7 billion from 2012 that this stuff just went unchecked. Did y'all, y'all, you want to, why aren't y'all getting those 80,000 IRS agents to freaking monitor y'all? $7 billion and y'all didn't know it was that? Seven, seven billion dollars was there the whole time. The whole time, the whole time you would, the whole time. <laughs> yeah, just like that. Crazy. This is why we don't trust them and we shouldn't trust them guys. Thank you guys for showing your cards, government. Thank you for showing your cards. Thank you for making us have no trust in y'all whatsoever now. Like, I don't, it ain't that I mistrust y'all or I'm skeptical. I just don't trust y'all at all. Thank you for doing this for us Americans. Anyway, folks, let me know what y'all think by putting it in the comments after this video. Don't forget, if you want to see the next video that I would do in chronological order, most likely, it's going to be the video up there. Things I do is a variety. You may catch it right here. I am Ty Smith, Modern Renaissance Man, and I hope and pray every last one of you have food, shelter, and clothing. And most of all, I pray every last one of you guys are in great health, mentally, physically, emotionally, and spiritually. God bless you all through Jesus.